Coach, a tough loss tonight. We'll start with an opening statement. I thought for three quarters, our team did everything that we needed to do to win the basketball ball game. Um, I thought we defended. I thought we rebounded. I thought we battled. Uh, and I thought for 34 minutes, it was what you would expect from a heavyweight battle from two of the top teams in the league. And then the last six, eight minutes, we just ran out of gas. Uh, we didn't finish. We didn't our show, we we didn't finish at the free throw line. I think we missed six, seven straight free throws. Uh, we were one of eight from the free throw line in the fourth quarter. We were two of thirteen from the floor in the fourth quarter. Shot fifteen percent in the fourth quarter. Um, they shot eighty. They were eight of ten from the floor. Um, and so, you know, we just we didn't finish tonight. I, you know, we we didn't finish as a team. I didn't help them finish as a coach, but I'm very proud of their effort. I'm very proud of their heart. Um, and, I, and I do believe that this team will learn from this and we will grow from this. Uh, you know, I thought Belmont did what championship teams do. They made plays down the stretch and we, we didn't have an answer for them the last six minutes of the basketball game. And a uh, tough stretch down towards the end. And it's just, they Belmont just seemed to find a way to um, kind of cut out the alleys inside and kind of change the game plan a little bit. Well, Destiny Wells just took over. You know, we, uh, we, had, we had done a really good job in our zone. And then late in the game, we gave up a couple threes. So didn't really feel comfortable going back to the zone in the fourth quarter, maybe we should have, you know, hindsight's always 2020. We'll go back and, and look at the film and see how we can get better as coaches and how we can help help our team be better in that situation. But we just really didn't have an answer for uh, for Destiny Wells and the little on ball screen that it, and it was a very low on ball screen that they were setting and uh, we just really didn't have an answer for her. Uh, and, and then I thought that we I thought we, we looked really tired. The last six minutes, our shots were very short, um, just hitting the front of the rim. We weren't able to get offensive boards, which is what we had been doing. Uh, and, you know, we had not been stellar all night offensively, but what we had done is we had defended. We had, we had done such a great job defending them. They had scored uh, nine in the first quarter, 16 in the second quarter, and 11 in the third quarter. And then we gave up 22 points to them in the fourth quarter. So I thought you know, between just running out of gas a little bit um, and also letting our frustration on the offensive end really affect us. But look, this is, you know, th th we're going to use this as feedback. Uh, we're going to use this as, as how we can get better. Um, you know, that's a team that they, they won the league last year. They got everybody back. They beat Gonzaga in the first round of the NCAA tournament. And uh, while we beat them at their place, you know, they, we knew they were going to come in and, and, and we're going to fight for this tonight. And, you know, we just didn't finish. We didn't finish the game. But we're going to take this and we're going to learn from it as coaches, as players. And uh, we're going to let it fuel us through this next week because uh, we've got a very, very difficult road trip coming up. And what we can't do is allow Belmont to beat us again on Thursday night. Positives were that the team did find ways to make stops on Belmont. Belmont only took the lead late. So there, there is still some positives to come out of this game. Oh, there were, there were, I mean, minus the fourth quarter, you know, I mean, three quarters, you know, our team did everything they needed to do to win the game. Uh, you know, and, and I thought we out rebounded them by 10. We had 15 offensive boards and what you were saying, we had a really difficult time in the half court tonight scoring five on five but through three quarters when we were getting stops we were able to get some transition points and we stopped getting stops in the fourth quarter so it was all five on five it was all having to score in the half court and we did a great job of getting to the free throw line we got there eight times but we were one of eight and look we've been um you know, we've been dancing with this for the last several games. You know, we, we the last game we shot 80% from the free throw line, but the previous three, we've really struggled at the free throw line. And, you know, you hoped at some point that that would improve. We've worked on it in practice. Uh, it did improve on Thursday night, but tonight it, it bit us in the tail. 
Uh, you know, you lose a game by what nine, and you miss seven free throws in the fourth quarter. So when you're struggling putting the ball in the hole from the, from the floor, you got to you got to get either you got to get to the free throw line and make free throws, or you got to get second chance opportunities. And we got we got none of we got to the free throw line. We didn't finish, but we got. I, I would love to know how many offensive rebounds we got in the fourth because we got a lot throughout the game, but it didn't feel like we got very many at all in the fourth quarter. But again, credit to credit to Belmont. Those kids stepped up and made plays and uh, and finished the game. Thanks, Coach. We'll see you on Thursday. Thanks, Thomas.